As Jesus says to his mate Nigel, what a fucking bait is. How's the form? And uh, I've been asked to do an one here in relation to that shite that uh, KRN TV. So whatever. Uh, see that KRN TV? They must let every fucking glape on. You know what I mean? They, they'll have someone from fucking Vietnam on next time. I made I'm 19 but I was in Vietnam. Got 17,000 purple fucking stars and I lost my watch. You know. But uh, and here, here we go again. As I predicted. The, the, he mentioned Paddy Doherty's name. Because he's lived off Paddy If it wasn't for Paddy Doherty. Dougie wouldn't have them donkey's teeth. In his chatterbox. You know. And he's talking about grasses. But yet there's uh, like any like fighting Irish I'll be able to tell you about uh, the tout informer MA5 special branch informer that is in the family like you know in his family like this here Jesus Christ there's more twists and turns than there is in this as there is in chubby checker in a blender but it uh, seemed to be as popular as a cockney and an Elton John get together so I might as well vent my uh, opinion on this shit and uh, first of all Dougie says like he Claims himself a fight man, Dougie mate. You danced, you danced, you danced. There's you, John Travolta around the place, you know. You until like wee bit of wind came along and pushed you fucking over, and you hit the deck like a vegetarian sandwich. I tell you, that's the truth. And there you go again. You're a different colour in this video, you know. And I was like, what the fuck? Is my screen going to my phone, or is it just this fucking wee tube, this wee balloon here? Who, like you call you think you're a hard man, but I've seen a harder toilet roll paper and you're you see when your finger goes through it and all and oh, it's the same colour as Doggy's face, just one of them days like But you've lived off Patty's name, I've for Patty, you've been nothing. Like uh like everybody knows that Patty was a fight man, even ask young Joe, ask Big Joe. You know, like but you've always said that Patty was a cousin of yours and now all of a sudden you're not related to him. Like, uh, lay off the drugs, my little son, and thanks for the reply, I really appreciate the silence, it's fun bloody tastic, you know. But, again, as I say, like, Dougie can't fight, you're even, really, what do you call that, Afghan, uh, oh, Shaken Stevens, uh, well, I can't even remember, his real name. oh, well, yeah, Dean Ward Lynch, whatever way, sorry if it's not alphabetical, but uh, it doesn't Dean look like a Mexican. You know, the, like he just walks up to you and like you just feel like he's about to say, Oh, give me my nachos. You see, they're not a fucking Mexican, a 1970s hunger striker, or uh, one of them, well, I suppose, like you do look more Afghan, Dean, than you do anything else because you should be on one of them appeals, you know. Uh, do you know who's living next door to you? Is it Afghan, Jim? It is, but fuck, you know. Like, but see, you all suit each other because you're wired to the fucking moon. You know, like, you get, uh, fucking Jaws from James Bond. What do you call that? Or fucking balloon. Uh, King, King, uh, uh, King Irish, uh, yes. I was robbing houses when he was three years of age. Oh, you should have seen me swing off the lamp post. Oh, Jesus Christ. But he's a, he's a, you're a fucking dickhead, Ian, uh, Hogan. I'll fight you any time at all, simple. Dean the Afghan, shaking Stevens. Oh, this old house, I want to build the children. You're uh, a comedian, 3D fake club. Like, it's it's just a bunch. Obviously, on March, whatever date it's on, lads, don't be expecting to get your drugs because all your drug dealers will be in the same room. So, you may get out of the day uh, early. Just letting you know, thank you. But yes, uh, like, this here K KRN uh, TV pish, it's, it's like the, the, I don't want to use any bad language here, like which is the bollocks because I always do. But it's going to be a laugh. I'm going to get myself out of the shop here, out of the Eurospar. I'm going to get myself some toffee flavoured popcorn. Maybe get a Fanta orange and chill out and watch this comedy session of Dougie. We see he'll be like, I took Robocop on there last Saturday night. Oh, Jesus, I did buy a beat him with a tin opener. So that's the type of shit you're going to get out of this big tube. Like, fucking hell. Like, like Pat, see if you were in your prime and Paddy was in his prime, Paddy would flatten you. Simple as that. That's why you kept your gub shut with Daka Heggy, because Daka would flatten you, you know. He would mosey over the top of you like George Best in the fucking pub. But like, like, like Dougie, like, see this pretend image you have of yourself where you think you're a gangster and all. You need to get a grip of yourself. You really do. 
here because you're <coughs> well no you can keep going like because I'm enjoying laughing at you because you're fucking hilarious like you're the Manchester's version of Jim Carrey you know cable guy that's what you are fuck's sake cable guy but you you have the teeth you know you have the teeth I wonder could I pick up uh, baby so, like to see if you ever lost with Dougie on a desert island or like just glisten his teeth towards the sun and you'd be able to send out SOS signals you know you'd probably be able to pick them up from South Africa like you know but uh, sure, then again, a fucking Afghan gym there, Al Dean would be able to pick them up too. I don't know what I'm on about, like, so, you know. But, you see, we're still waiting on Dougie to, like, there's when Jimmy Joyce, you fought Jimmy Joyce. Jimmy didn't want to fight, it shows you the calibre of the man, nothing against him. But when he started crying, that shows you that he just wasn't supposed to be there. And you can't claim that as a win, you can't claim Dak and a, a drunk as a win. You can't claim fuck all, but then whenever you're up against a, a Douglas Dougie, who was fighting... You danced around, you tried to say that it, you were the same types of fighters. And that's what made the fight shit. Well, fucking Jesus Christ. I hope you got a stand ovation for that joke. That's the best one-liner I've ever heard in my life. So you're trying to say that but Mike Tyson or, or Conor McGregor or Earl Sandy here from the bar at Bingo as well too, Earl Nancy. You're trying to say that if if there's a counter-puncher the same, you're like, Oh, I can't hit you, mate. Because you're a counter puncher. Oh, so am I. What do we do then? Oh, Jesus, just want to go and play bingo. Oh, we're going home at six o'clock. Get a grip yourself, you fucking stupid fucking. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, you are a comedian. Does it run? Does it run in the Manchester blood? In the Joyce's over there? Like, you know, just the Manchester bunch? Like, because you are you're are all loud as fuck. And you have the, the fighting credentials. Like, like Big Joe has, like Young Joe has, like Jesus Christ, Joe, Young Joe's had more fights in one weekend, Dougie, than you've ever had in your life, and, uh, like, there you go, putting shit on about Paddy Dockery when his brother is sick with cancer, and Paddy, if you're listening, God bless your brother, and I hope he makes a full recovery, and fuck you, Dougie, you scummy bastard, if you are, uh, Blackyarding, uh, Kojak, you know, like, they're a thousand times better men, than you'll ever be because they were fighting men. They they came from nothing and tried to make something of their lives. You were spoon fed like a wee baby, a wee bitch. Like you can tell that by the, by your wee stupid fake tan and all at your fucking age. Imagine that there, uh, a wee as you call yourself a wee gangster, and you're standing in the sun beds waxing your arse. Get a fucking grip of yourself. Like proper men don't give a fuck if the if the six teeth missing, if the fucking Anna hang wrong, they don't give a fuck because they're real men. You're just a wee soft boy. He's living in a fantasy land, thinking he's a real life character in GTA. You're a different colour in every fucking video. Your teeth look horrendous. And I hope one day that someone makes, a, even though young Douglas Dockery did make an example of you, he just proved he didn't have to hit you to, just to let the world know that you can't fight. He just embarrassed you. He embarrassed you. A fucking show. But you would give, uh, God bless him, young Patrick Swayze a good run for his money, like, you know. Because you did go around there like a good ballroom dancer. The most shittest fight in the fucking planet. Sorry, the most... I don't know what the fuck. Like, we... I, there's, I, I tell you what it was like. It was like when I was playing Tekken for the PlayStation. And the fucking game was freezing. And you're just standing there and the characters won't move fucking forward. But God bless us anyway. What about you fighting Irish? Subscribe to fighting Irish. He's a good laugh. Good lad, son.